Welcome everybody, Dr. Willie Jolly and D. Taylor Jolly. And we're the Jollies, and we're the authors of the book, Make Love, Make Money, Make It Last, 10 Secrets to Shape a Great Marriage, and it's available in book, workbook, audio book, and live seminar. So how are CD. you today, Willie Jolly? I'm doing terrific. Um, I'm doing ter terrific. I'm healthy. I'm wealthy. I'm happy. I'm whole. I feel terrific. I'm blessed and highly favored. And That's how are you sleeping at night, Willie Jolly? I'm sleeping well. Oh, I'm sleeping well. You know what our topic is for tonight, Willie What's Jolly? What's our topic? Okay, cooped up. Uh huh. Because we're cooped up. Yep. Just the two of us. Just the two of us. Nobody's crossed this door <laughs> sill of our home. And since so the first part of March, March 9th, March 9th, wow, mm -hmm. okay, it's a little more cooped up. Uh huh, mm -hmm. what else? And a variety of things, but cooped up tonight, we're going to talk about not being able to sleep. I don't have that issue, <laughs> but obviously, or you got insomnia, you got some and people who have it. The topic is cooped up, anxious, can't sleep. Now, what? Because that's one of the, the major topics trending in terms of Google with research, okay. insomnia. Insomnia is a big topic online. If people can't sleep, but they can't sleep for a, a variety of reasons. And Many of them are stressed out. Because of the out. bad news all day long. And the coronavirus crisis and the impact it's having on them personally, professionally, financially, as well as on relationships. And what we're going to focus on is relationships and how it impacts your relationships. Uh, we do want to say, before we get started, that um, Friday night, we're going to do, it was so nice, we got to do it twice. So Friday night, we're going to do another one of our, what do you call it? The... Um, Who's just joining the, the Jollies for dinner? A, a dinner party. It's going to be a dinner party. It's virtual, of course. May Day. And it's going to be May Day. May Day. Because May 1st is May Day. And where's your little picture? Where's your little picture? Oh. <laughs> this is Miss D <laughs> as the May Queen. I said, why are you grinning on everybody? She said, I wasn't grinning. Oh, I just didn't have a smile. I, I did, didn't smile a lot. That was her as the May Queen with her little brother. In 19 or 2. <laughs> and... Uh, this is her, the May Queen in Hampton, Virginia. And so she, we had a... Uh, it was sixth grade. It was, that was sixth, sixth grade, grade. And I was the May Queen. And Cheryl, who works with us, said, what is that? I never even heard well, of... Well, she never heard of the Maypole. Of, of, of the Maypole. She had never heard of the Maypole. Mm -hmm. And I guess that's a generational thing. Because mm -hmm. some of the people who are joining us... y'all, How many of y'all have heard of the Maypole? Okay, anybody? Maybe we do a quick survey here. How many of y'all have heard of Maypole? Um, and maybe May Hannah. Day and May Paul. And May Day and May mm -hmm. Paul. She had, mm -hmm. and she's in her 40s and she's never heard of it. Mm -hmm. She said, I never heard. What are you talking mm -hmm. about? I said, first really? of all, you know, what is May Day? Because you brought it up first. Well, in one of my pieces this week on, Hi. hey, uh, one of my pieces this week on uh, my Sirius XM mm -hmm. radio show, my, my daily radio show on Get Up Mornings with Erica Campbell is about. May Day is going to be on Friday. I encourage you all to listen Which is Friday. May 1st. And I talk about what May Day is and, and what it means and where it came from. And then... It's what a it, celebration. First day of spring was yes. what it was. Now mm -hmm. it celebrates uh, the International Worker Day of Workers. Well, it's two things. Symbolic of spring mm -hmm. and the fact that it's International Workers Day. Yeah. Because it celebrates the fact that workers after after the loss of lives, rioting and all these things and pressure on business owners that workers were actually Able granted to or came into law, to unionized and, and actually established an eight day work week. Can you imagine having to, eight I mean days. I'm sorry, an, an, an eight hour day, okay. an eight hour work day. Yeah. And before that, workers with, with no unionization could work 12 or 16 hours, whatever the plant or the organization. Okay, I don't want to get off on that. I want to stay on this. Uh, okay, okay, I want to okay. stay on May Day and, and the impact of being cooped up. But where we were going was 
we're going to do another one of our come to dinner with dinner us. with us. Saying. This time we, we, we're working we're working out the kinks, so we'll be able to see you and to see your table, what you're eating. By the way, I cooked on Friday night. So let's see what he does this Friday, and we'll see what happens this Friday. I, I cooked teriyaki marinated seared pan salmon. He did a great job too, and it was good. It really was good. It, it was good. Yes, all right, it was. so I don't know what I'm gonna do this he week. He seems to like cooking, and I'm like all in. After I'll, 35 I'll some, years, I started cooking. That. How y'all like that? 35 years, I started cooking. I never cooked. I never cooked. I was busy making money. I got to make money. Well, you were not. You were not home a lot. I wasn't home. And I was we were always rushing. Here and there. But now we're cooped up together. We cooped up. No kids are here. So things have changed. So we are. I'm cooking. Okay, let's talk about this cooped up thing. Oh, by the way, one more last thing about the last Friday night. There was really some great conversations that came out. Uh, like one, uh, uh, Leslie and her husband asked, we've been married three years. They're in Houston, Texas. We've been married three years. We want to celebrate our third anniversary, but it's next week. And we are uh, in isolation, quarantine. Well, how should we celebrate? Great. So people gave other suggestions. Great so part suggestions. of the reason for coming together and just doing a virtual dinner is for us to get to know each other and see your faces. And, ha and have and exchange talk. information. And exchange information. They're not all going to come from us. You want to come from us, join us on um, Monday night. Uh, okay, let's go with it. Join us on we, Friday night. No, I'm saying, but if you want just our information coming to you, oh, right, then okay. you join us Happily Married Monday, which y'all are doing. Okay. But then for those who want to join and, and give ideas and thoughts and suggestions, Friday night, 7 o'clock, one hour. Okay. All right, but they have to, if they're not already on our list. If you're not on our newsletter list, <laughs> you won't be able to get uh, so an invitation. So just send to info at willyjolly.com and put dinner. Yeah, in info at willyjolly.com. And we'll send you an invitation. Say it again. Just send an email to info at willyjolly.com and put dinner in the subject line. And we'll send you an invite because you actually have to have an access to get in. Right. So so it's free, but you bring your own food and set your own table. And, and I made a note to say that it would be um, um, uh, May Day Celebratory. Now, what does that mean? It's whatever you want. I, I, I'm going to find something of color. I'm going to find something with a little bit of color in it. Not always black. So I'm going to find something of color in my closet, something. So I'm going to wear floral something on Monday, uh, on Friday, the, the first, which is May Day. Okay, she going to put on some color. Watch your world. Okay, let's get going. We need sleep, but we so, cooped up. So one of the challenges. People can't sleep. Not that, me. That, that is trending via, via uh, uh, Google most frequently um, search is. How do I deal with insomnia? Lots of people are asking. That is a highly searched issue. I can't sleep. Now what am I going to do? Yep. What you going to do? Okay. Now I said, you have to say, well, why is sleep important? So, so I did some of my, my, of course, I'm the one, the background research and everything, right? Right. Thank right? you. Keep sharing. Oh, so oh, 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 stop. Everybody do me a favor. Start a watch party right now. Okay. Right on your party. Facebook live. Hit start a watch party. And tell everybody that watch party would would some ideas about how not to have insomnia. Right, or cooped up, cooped up, and can't sleep. Now what you gonna what do? you gonna do now? And you might have some other suggestions. Right. You can send, send your, them in your chat as right we over here. To we, talk about it. we got a new system, by the way. We can actually see your chat now, where we couldn't all because we kind of slow, so we figuring it out. Hello, <laughs> we were not the brightest bulbs in the pack. Okay, we've been using my iPad. All this time, and I was reading on my my laptop when I should have been using my laptop, hardwiring it, and then reading off my iPad. So one of our who told us to do it? Somebody told us to do it. And, I don't know. We get advice from so many and people. And we tried it, and us. man, so it's trying. it's so much better. We can read your your comments right now. So start a watch party, everybody, please, right now, and send out a lot of love and okay, share so with your friends. Okay, so our topic is cooped up, cooped anxious, up. can't sleep. What are we gonna do now? What do you do now? Okay. What happened from that not being able to sleep? Okay, so first of all, we do need sleep. We've so, got to get so, some sleep. So why do you think? And and sleep varies. The research says that after the age of, of, of 18, I don't, I don't know who came up with the arbitrary age in terms of research, that seven to nine hours worth of sleep is considered the normal range, seven to nine hours worth of sleep. 
Now, babies, babies, newborn up to like, uh, you know, a year or so, they they need up to 14 hours worth of sleep. Just absolutely, you know, it's absolutely crazy. But they're saying that the average number of hours of sleep is seven to nine hours. And many of us are not getting that because of the stress from the coronavirus and the ongoing negative news 24-7, the update of how many thousands of people died, we hear it, then we have to go back and work or do whatever we're doing. Right. To work, to manage the kids, to do the homework, to take care of the household, all those things, and it becomes very frustrating. So what is it that we can do? Right. Okay? So why do we need to sleep? And here's something interesting, because sleep helps us establish or protect our immune system. Mm. You, Isn't that something? Yeah, it does. It does. It, it, it repairs your body. As you sleep, and our has helps us with our psychological well-being. It just makes us feel, just think about that. When you're really um, tired and sleepy, like you fell asleep in the chair yesterday after you'd gone bike riding and ate Chinese food. And you were like, oh. Uh, I had a nap. I could not think. You could not think. I had a bike ride, a long bike ride, and then I came back and had, was the first time I've had Chinese food in over a month. He's so excited. He's a foodie. So he had, had, so and that food Chinese was so food. good, but it hit, hit me, and I got the I got the, the itis. To the door. Ooh, I got the itis. Ooh. And he couldn't. And we were actually we were working on something. Relaxing. We were actually working on a proposal, and I'm talking, trying to get his input in terms of the right word. And he's like, I can't think. I can't. Like, uh, okay. So that's what he did. Okay. So. Sleep does two things for us. It helps to build or protect our immune system. Okay. And it helps to give us psychological well-being. Okay. Being comfortable with who we are. I want to get to the to sex function. part because there's a sex part in here and I want to get right to That's that. That's all he's ever interested in, by the way. Yeah. So here we go. When we don't get enough sleep, Willie Jolly, when yeah. we don't get enough sleep, we have problems. Okay. Okay. Some of the problems? Yeah. We already know it weakens our immune system. Yes. Okay. And that's major. We'll get how it's made you a little later. There's forgetfulness. Mm -hmm. Okay. We get irritable. That's true. Some people get depressed. Mm -hmm. We exercise poor judgment. Right. Sometimes with sleep deprivation, there can be heart problems as a result. Right. Your skin looks dull. Who knew mm, that? I didn't know that. Because you're not refreshed. There's something about the sleeping that refreshes you and makes you look bright eyed and bushy tail. Mm. Tendency for weight gain. You know, they did say I've read it a couple times that that there's a direct correlation between your sleep and your weight loss or your weight maintain, maintaining your standard weight. And if you stop sleeping much, you you start to gain weight. Do you think it's because you're eating more? I don't know why that's psychological. I don't know. Why are you going to that part of research? I don't know. Psychological, socializing, physiological. I don't mm -hmm. know. But it says weight gain is a tendency if you don't get enough sleep. Huh. Okay. And then lastly, there's a drop in sex drive. Hello! That's what I wanted to get to. <laughs> the drop in the sex drive if you don't get enough sleep. I'm going to bed so, right now. I'm <laughs> so if you're not well rested, it can have an adverse effect Ooh, on your sex drive. I'm going to get me some sleep right now. I don't want nothing to be messing with that. Hello! Okay. So, so the most researched word is really... Insomnia, insomnia or lack of sleep. Yep. Okay. And that's when you, you, you have the inability to fall asleep or you're falling asleep haphazardly and you're not being refreshed. So you wake up tired. You wake up and your eyes are red. You feel drained. It's like, did I sleep at all? Yes. Okay. Yeah. We're getting some comments, by the way. Um, uh, Rhonda Pierce said, yeah, I know what a maypole is. All right, Ma, <laughs> Rhonda. Um, and uh, Terrence, uh, Ephraim J uh, Gray Sr. said, my song is awesome. Thank you. For those who don't know, I released a song called We'll Get Through This. And we've had so many people who've commented on it. We got a pastor call today from Cleveland, Ohio, who's mm -hmm. Paul Sadler. He's probably watching. He and Kim uh, and said, uh, could love. he play it at his church Absolutely. online? Absolutely. Another pastor call. It will encourage call. and nurture. If you haven't heard spirit. it, you can go to winwithwilly.com. And here at winwithwilliams.com, uh, thank you for all the comments. Keep sending them. 
Keep sending them. Okay. Do so, a watch party. What you say? Do a watch, watch party right now. Bam, 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 bam. Tell everybody, la di da di, everybody. So let's talk about insomnia because that's a big issue. And when you're cooped up, many people have been cooped up. Their, uh, Their schedules are off. Oh, my God. Now, you had a great article you sent out about the fact that there's a differentiation of uh, the parent, parental responsibilities as a result of being cooped up. You know what? You know, that, that I forwarded it, but that actually came from William. And well, that I came that from was my really sonny boy. Well, yeah. Which, which really said that in, in, in a two-parent professional household, when they end up being cooped up, and let's say they are both working from the house, from ha from the home, and they have children, but the tendency is still for the wife to have more of the parenting responsibilities than the than the the husband than the husband. Well, I, I we we don't have that. We don't have a comment. I don't have a comment on that because our children are grown now. We're stuck in here, and I'm digging being with her because she's cute. But I think that's more of a traditional role, and I think we had that very traditional role, and I didn't have a problem with it. Well, uh, you, I was making money. Yeah, I got you right. So because you were on track. But what it comes down to again is communicate, talk to each other, and communication in marriage is like oil in your automobile engine. It can be messy to handle, but without it, your engine will run poorly, and eventually will lock up and bust. So keep talking to each other. But I think that's deceptive because many people talk to each other. They think they're talking to each other when they're really talking at each other. Mm. So there's a difference when we talk about communicating. We're not saying do this all the time. We're saying that you actually have to listen and you have to figure out what the language is that they're using to make sure you understand what they're saying. So ask questions. Mm -hmm. If you said that, is that what that means? Mm -hmm. So that's how you, and not listening so that you can just tell them what you think right but listening with the goal to actually understand and interpret in a way that you didn't understand what they really meant so okay? we are making a point that we talk to each other even when we disagree i mean we we, we were doing a business thing today and we disagree about something in business and i said, and you know what he says to me he says that word that C A L M word that makes me want to holler. And we have had discussions about that word because it doesn't work for me. So now we know. And you probably have some words that if, you're, if, if your spouse said them to you, <laughs> that it would be upset. So when she gets there, let me tell you what, me, me and my assistant who is on the, on the phone on Zoom, we're having our Zoom staff meeting, and I, we both say, she needs a snicker bar. She needs a snicker and no, bar. No, I don't. Yes, she does. No, she I needs don't. a snicker bar. No, She's a little. They are not understanding. As I am trying to explain, it's not your explain. Oh, George Frazier gave a great quote the other day. I'm gonna be on his podcast on the seventh um, at seven o'clock in the evening. His global podcast. But he said something. We were on the phone for talking about preparation for it. He said, you know, ten percent of disagreements is about opinions, different opinions. 90% mm -hmm. of the disagreement is how you express those different opinions. Mm -hmm. It's how you talk about it. And that's where the communication mm -hmm. comes in. So, And I am very intense about content and curriculum she's design. She's very intense, intense. About content and curriculum design. So let's get back here now. Let's talk about this insomnia and, and the fact that with poor sleep, how it adversely affects us, okay? So... A good night's sleep is even harder to come by because of all the challenges. Somebody likes your hair, by the way, Donna. <laughs> says, I look like Peter Rabbit. Loves the hair, cute, like a little rabbit, Thank like you. a little Peter Rabbit. <laughs> Here's some interesting thing about all right, go ahead. with with the the lack of sleep. Uh, there is a body of knowledge, and this is the thing that now, like CNN, CNBC, and and all the news stations are, are talking about that the underserved community, mm. that the underserved community, be it people of brown, black, and people who have underlying health conditions like hypertension, asthma, and diabetes are more vulnerable in this situation. 
and not getting enough sleep and rest and taking care of yourself makes it worse. Yeah. And because the underserved population tends to be in work environments where they can't work remotely, like many of us have the opportunity to do, they're on site. So they're more exposed right. to the virus. Right. So that makes you angst and upset, right? Yep. And you're not getting enough sleep because every day you worried about, oh my God, is that person next to me who didn't have his mask on? Like we were at the Oh, oh let me tell you about I this. I cannot. She I cannot is a piece of work when we go to the grocery store. She and, is a piece of work. We were late at the grocery store. Work. Okay. We were late. We were late. We were okay. late. Now, let, and let, we let, were late at the grocery store let's, because... Let's talk about it. Be honest. I got an issue. I got an issue. I got an issue. I talk about sleep. Okay? Here's the sleep. He sleep. doesn't have a problem. He sleeps long. I only need four or five hours. I'm one of those strange people and I'm up She and, and her brother both only need four, five, six hours at the most of sleep. And I said, honey, the seniors get to go to the grocery store early. Of which we would be in that category. At 7 a.m. At the store. He says, I can't get up. I just, so of course, I compromise. I said, okay, sweetheart. I'm going to do yoga and then I'm going to come for you about 7.30. Maybe we can get in before the crowd. So what happens? We drove up there at 8 o'clock. The line was around the block. And that line was around the corner. That was Whole Foods. The line was around the corner. I was like, mm -hmm. oh, no. Mm -hmm. and she said, nope, no, not no, going to no. do it. So we went to my favorite other store, Walmart, and I got everything I needed. There was no line. There was no line. But then there were people. They don't follow directions. People in Walmart weren't upsetting. following the directions. A simple direction of the green arrow says, go here. <laughs> And then, so, so the aisle goes here, and then you, you go up and down, and the arrow says, plain as day, green go here. <laughs> then the next line, it says, red, stop, don't come in. <laughs> what happens? The people are going up and down the wrong aisle. I cannot She goes it. crazy. Uh, she, uh, you know, I always tell her that she, first of all, she can't, she's a germaphobe first. No, before she got to be a germaphobe, she, she is... A, a little teacher's pet. Teacher, teacher, <laughs> teacher, he, he, Willie. Follow oh, the, uh, the direction. We were on a plane. We used to be on a plane. <laughs> and you know, you're supposed to uh, put on your seatbelt and put stuff away and not use your phone. And so I'm. He's always cheating I, on the phone. I'm on my. I'm I'm like, she wants. Teacher, he's, he's, he's on the phone. He te teacher, Miss Stewart, he, he's still <laughs> texting. The door is closed. He's supposed to stop. <laughs> So that's that's the bottom thing, and then on top of that, she's a germaphobe, and then on top of that, she don't want to be out there. She's an introvert, so she don't want to be out there with the folks in the first place. So we got people coming down. The so aisle. I'm walking down. I'm, I'm going down the aisle at the Walmart in the right direction, according to the green arrow. And somebody coming the other way. And somebody is coming towards me. Obviously, the wrong direction. And he didn't have a mask on he his. He had a mask, but it was not over his face. It was he had a... it underneath his chin. Ooh. So I, I had my mask on, and I just, I just stopped. <laughs> <laughs> and I just stared at him. This young man, he was like, oh, I guess I need to put my mask on. I'm like, yes, you do. Just awful. And I said, I cannot. I cannot so, go out. She's, it's just—it's too traumatizing. It is. So I'm gonna go. He's—he's probably asymptomatic and flaunting himself around and spreading the germs. I can't handle it. I can't go out. So you see what I'm living with. <laughs> Y'all see what I'm living with. But I get my sleep because it ain't gonna—it ain't gonna mess up my love life. That's for sure. I'm gonna get my sleep. I go to sleep and sleep like a baby till. I wake up and I am ready to go. Ready to go. Okay, good. Keep going. So we know. Yes. That sleep affects our immunity. Yep. It affects our psychological state. Yep. How do we improve our situation? All right, what tell are some us. things that we can do? And in some research, it's called <laughs> sleep hygiene. What? Some people are laughing at our conversation. <laughs> Because she say it's so funny. People so know. it's called, it's, Terrence, it's called Rhonda, sleep Rhonda. hygiene. How do you get the Sherry right kind Elliott. of sleep? So y'all can 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 
put in the chat some suggestions that help you. I know, I know what you me, do for I sleep. I fall asleep really. anyway. I, so here's some things. I don't have a problem going to sleep because I, I, I've got a very clear sleep pattern. Eleven thirty. You I'm have out. a have a routine. So the first thing it, is here's some ideas. The uh -huh. First thing is that. You must have a routine. Have a routine. I, I so do. if you don't have a routine, that, that's like the first thing you got to do, yep. right? Decide so your wake up and bedtime so, so and what stick does that to look it. Like? And, I, and that I, might be hard. Maybe you have to decide that together. You got the the, the couple. You got the kids. You got the dog. I think There's not so. Oh, and let's talk about that really about seriously. Yourself. We should. You should talk about it together because people have different sleep sleep patterns mm -hmm. and. You know, I, I don't want to sound like I'm always talking about sex, but a brother got to get hooked up. And if you he is always talking about sex, but it's because a brother's got. We watched, we watched some movie the other night. It was so funny. Uh, we watched the Nutty Professor, and and um, Buddy Love had to get 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 hit. And I said, you know, I guess I'm a little bit like Buddy Love. Mm -hmm. Anyway, but. I, we have to have a sleep pattern because if she goes to bed at 8 and I go to bed at 11, that's not going to work well. So I'm saying to you that, that couples need to discuss that in, in all reality, in all seriousness. Because part of this... How did we handle it when, we had to, when we, the kids were home? We, they had a bedtime. They had a bedtime. They had a bedtime. Yeah. And then we had a bedtime too. Yeah. Yeah, they have, but we, we put them down. I mean, you know, yeah, we got a ten. We had a ten year difference between them. Mm -hmm, so one is mm -hmm. a teenager and one's a child mm -hmm. and a little kid. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, so, but they had a bedtime. Yeah, we would we would tell them this is the bedtime, and then we have our date night. We would always have our date night nine o'clock on Thursday night. Was hardwired that we're going. So to, it doesn't have to be Thursday. It could be any whatever, any, any whatever day, night but you do. You choose. have to carve out a time. So the first thing in trying to control to get a handle on your sleep is messed up. What do we do? You have to establish a routine. And the first right. thing is decide on when you're going to go to bed and when you're going to yeah. get up, which is a problem when you're now home all the time. It's probably easy for us because we work from home. Right. But here's but for another those problem. Those who are now managing right working from home as a different as a problem. different situation. Problem. People who, it's right there in the second part of that, and too much screen time, cutting to your sleep. Mm -hmm. we, and let me tell you, I learned how to turn off my phone, and I put it face down, I plug it in, or I, I don't turn it off, off. I just turn off the ringer. But some people call me from other time zones, uh, Australia, you know, they're calling in the middle of the night, and I had to learn how to say, i talk to you tomorrow. Because I got to get my sleep. I'm getting my sleep. Willie, it's 929. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Just decide your wake and your bedtimes, okay? And stick to it. Stick to it. Then, number one, choose your exercise time and type of activity. Research shows you need activity. You need to do something. And we do that every day. It is important for your endorphins to do some sort of physical activity to get past the stress of this time. It's critically important. Now, look, we got to go. It's a de-stressor. Yeah. The exercise we gotta go. is actually we, no, we a de-stressor and allows go. you we to go. sleep better. All right, we got to go. So this Listen. is where we're going to start next week. Next week. Look, we got three, four, five, and six. <laughs> she still got more points. Look, um, Friday night. If Join you, us. If you want to be part of our May Day marriage enrichment or relationship enrichment dinner party, where everybody will be seen. You and bring your own food. You have your own food <laughs> at your table, but we can see how you look. We can, and we have like a dinner party. We will all have a discussion about what makes relationships better. Some suggestions. People have questions. ideas from you. Yeah, ideas. Join us. It was fun with some great ideas. This time we're going to fix. So if you never signed up for anything, sign up now, and we're going to fix the technology info problem at Willie Jolly because we want to see you. And just put info WillieJolly.com and say what dinner. Dinner in the subject line. Okay. Info at dinner. If you want my uh, any of our marriage uh, products, particularly the book, get the free chapter at the at the website jollymarriage.com. And if you go to winwithwilly.com, winwithwilly.com, you get to see the song and all my websites today. You can get to it's it. very inspirational. Uh, jollymarriage.com, right there. Hey, look, we got to go. We try to keep you on time. It's nine thirty. Our time is up. Jolly out. Jolly out. God bless y'all. Have a great day. Bye bye. Bye.